I don't want to see any unnecessary accidents and yet mistakes are made. This is why I'm delighted to be TrackSafe patron and to step up in Rail Safety Week. I think rail safety is really important just because so many people use the train to get to work, to their adventures on a weekend, to sports and so on. There's plenty of signs and announcements to make sure we do the right thing. Standing behind the yellow line, making sure we watch the gap. Safety measures on the train, being able to get up and hold on to something is really important. And just the courtesy elements of travelling. I think moving so many people, it's really important that it's a safe, secure and comfortable journey. Some people, they have their headphones in when they're walking beside where the train comes in and then they get easily distracted. I tend to not look at any notifications or anything on your phone because... It's a my, distraction. Yeah, it's a distraction and tagging is everywhere. Makes me feel uncomfortable too because people have obviously gone out of their way to break the law. We kind of just abide by all the general rules and if you follow them, you'll be right. Definitely being a mother to a young child, my main priority is her safety. It's just making sure I am aware of what's going on around me. People assisting me if I need to get off the tram is always a good thing. If we're helping each other out, you know, the public can look after each other. I think it's definitely a, a great thing. So we actually really need the help of the public in relation to safety. People are rushing to get through uh, crossings, for example, or to catch trains. It's actually better to be a few minutes late than actually not make it at all. When people are engaging in risk-taking behaviour, it obviously increases the likelihood of them being seriously injured. They can actually be uh, electrocuted. I don't think that they're aware of the significant disruption that they cause to the rail network. As a cyclist, it's really my responsibility to make sure that I dismount before I cross the little crossing. And also not to try and beat the signals, you know, when the boom gates start coming down and the gate starts to close. It's really important for me to be aware of how my bicycle impacts people. So just being patient, letting people get off the train before you get on and just trying not to take up as much room as possible. So it's really important just to be really vigilant and really aware. As a driver, a lot of people don't see the trauma on our side of things. Obstacles on the, the train track is a big safety thing we need to look at, just so there's no fatalities or injury for the community or ourselves as workers. Basically around tracks, the public need to be just as aware of trains as we are aware of the public. Just enjoy the trip. We'll make sure they get there safely and everything will be fine. Our number one priority is to provide a safe environment for our passengers and also a safe workplace for our staff. And at the end of the day, I want them to safely go home to their family and friends. Like with any long distance travel, it's about respecting each other and respecting the, 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 your fellow passengers. It's all of our responsibility to be safe. Everyone's in a hurry these days, but that's when mistakes are made. You need to exercise common sense when you're approaching a level crossing or a pedestrian crossing or platform, follow those rules and not take shortcuts. With rail safety, it's my responsibility.